Hello and welcome to this tutorial about cron job. How to set up cron job in Moodle. So what is a cron job? It is basically a requirement of the system which is to execute certain commands in the backend for the proper functioning of the entire Moodle system. And this needs to be done at specific intervals there are two options to do it either you do it manually that is you execute the cron script manually by yourself or else you can automate the process of executing the cron script we will look at the second option so first of all, when you are logged into the admin account on Moodle, go to Site Administration Notifications. Here, as you can see under Notifications, it gives a notification that the cron script has never been executed and it should run every one minute this is the path to the cron script that already exists in the moodle files on your server so when you will go to the moodle folder on the web server where the moodle files have been uploaded in that folder you will find a folder for admin Inside admin, you will find CLI folder. Inside CLI, you will find a cron.php script. So let us see how to automate the process of executing this PHP script. In the C panel, we need to go to cron jobs, which is available under advanced section. In the cron jobs section, you will see there is an email that is already registered for this purpose because every time a cron job is executed, the notification is sent to this email address. Next is the option to add a new cron job. How do you do that is by using either of the two commands specified here one is for the general example and one is a domain specific example we will copy the domain specific command select this command copy scroll down in the command box you can paste that command now, we will come to the common settings. Common settings is the frequency at which you want this cron job to be executed. Let us say once per minute. And you will notice the values for all the other variables will be filled in automatically as you select the common settings. Next, what we need is the PHP version which is currently being used on the website. How do we get that is from the C panel under software section, you will see multi PHP manager from here you will see the PHP version that is currently available under every domain and subdomain on your server. So we have to select this part of the PHP version copy for that specific domain on which we have Moodle installed. Copy that. 
go back to the cron job and in the command here you will have to change this part which is ea hyphen php 99 you will have to replace it with the php version that is currently available on the moodle website which we have just copied okay next is the path the path to the php script for that we will go to file manager go to the domain folder where you have moodle installed then go to admin folder as we saw the path in moodle that is here it is admin slash cli slash cron.php so we will just cross check this and in the file manager we will go back to the admin folder cli folder and here it is you can see the cron.php file is present so we need to copy this path control c to copy go back here remove the part of this command beginning from domain path till the end okay control v that is public underscore html forward slash the domain or the subdomain name forward slash admin forward slash cli forward slash cron.php so here if you see the complete command it is user forward slash local forward slash bin forward slash ea hyphen php 73 that is the php version on my website right now forward slash the path to the home directory in the file manager forward slash public underscore html forward slash learn that is the subdomain on which i have moodle installed forward slash admin forward slash cli forward slash cron dot php now here when we go to learn you can see that the cron script has not been executed i will refresh and show it to you that it has not been executed this is the current status now i will add new cron job cpanel successfully added the cron job now i have set it at a frequency of one minute so i will wait for one minute and go back and refresh here and this notification should have gone by then so let us just wait for one minute now after one minute let us try and refresh this and you can see that the notification for the script has gone because the script has been executed and it is showing the available updates which is coming from the execution of the cron job so we have successfully executed the cron job and it is automatically set to execute every one minute 
so that is about setting up the cron job on Moodle. If you found this tutorial helpful, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.